we're Miriam and Tongi, and this is Mighty Van. In 2019, we bought a van. We spent a year self-converting it, with no previous building experience whatsoever. We turned it into a beautiful, cozy home. In this build series, we'll show you how we did it. From working to electrical, we'll show it all. Hoping we can help you, or inspire you, build a home on wheels and live new adventures on the road. Uh, so, me, I'm going to work on the piece of floor that's going to go here and the one that's going to go all over here. I'm going to work on the piece of ceiling here, the one that will go here, and those one. I don't know if you can see over yep. here. Uh, All right. That's so, my first mission. So you're going to measure them out and cut them as well? Yeah. And I need the sanding machine. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's in the garage. I'll give it to you. Je mets cette partie-là en haut. Parce que ça, c'est la partie-là que je mets en bas. Ok. Uh, should I put something in order to press? You should keep pressing for about half an hour. Oh, nice. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, you can put something if you want to. Or you can stay like this. <laughs> half an hour, you said? Yes, at least. Up to an hour. Do I have my phone? I'm kidding, you know? Really? Yes. Eventually, you can put the potatoes... Uh, against it? Against it, if you want. Potatoes are... It's nice, right? These. Yeah, looks nice. And here, it's closing there. Like there is a... And we could maybe even like put some sealant. Achoo! Uh. Yeah, looks good. Stop! Don't do that! I'm gonna sneeze on it! pieces of the ceiling in the shower. There well, there's is... actually, yeah, there's actually going to be one more here. Yeah. But before that, we need to finish the paneling all the way down. And the little pieces, the two little pieces we added, that one? Oh, right, yeah. As you can see here, this used to be like this, out in the open. Now it's all beautiful and finished. Another piece of ceiling here. The magic foam. <laughs> the magic foam here. But we don't know yet how we're going to do the corner. We're yeah. waiting for the closet to be in place. Yeah, we need to figure that out. Because the closet, I think, is going to come maybe up to... Well, maybe up to here. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Not that far, I don't know. I don't know how where that takes us. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. And but... the other one that you did over there. Oh, yeah. This one right here. So it's glued to... There's a wood stud all, all the way here. It's glued all the way, and the only screw I could put in was this one. And I actually did a little trick. I did a little, I don't know what that's called. Uh, oh, cut in the middle. Oh, it's tongue and groove. So I guess this is the groove. I did a little groove so the tongue of this one could fit in. I don't know if that makes sense, but... That's what we did. That works, so... All good. <laughs> Hello. 
so we are keep going. We are going to keep what? We we okay. We come here. Come here next to me. Quickly, quickly. Hi. Hi. So today. We are going to finish the shower. Not finish. Okay. Continue working on continue, the shower. Continue. Continue the shower. Uh, so, yesterday we installed this wall. As you can see, there is a little gap here. And we added this little piece here that uh, fill the gap over here. So, today it's going to be... Back to you. So today it's gonna be even uh, trickier because we're gonna directly cut the FRP, which is a little expense. So we would like not to. We don't want to mess it up. So Miriam's doing templates right now for the cuts. Here. To be sure we have the exact uh, right cut, knowing that we are going to use. I don't know what I I'm think showing. People are sick right now watching this video. <laughs> okay, take yeah. it then. So, knowing that for the corners, we bought something that is supposed to be for the corners. We bought something that is supposed to go in between two pieces of uh, FRP because, in order to just buy two sheets, we had to do cuts that are not perfectly what we need for all the sides. So at some point we're gonna have to uh, do to join two pieces together on the same wall. So we're gonna use that thingy. And what did we buy? What else we bought? We bought that one. So for that one, you put the FRP here, and this goes against your wall. So it's gonna actually to be here to do a nice finish, but also to waterproof every piece of wood that we could have. Of course, later on, we're gonna add uh, sealant, and we're also going to add some type of, um, how do you call that for the wood? Some type of vernis. Some type of waterproof stain mm -hmm. on the ceiling, just right there to help with the moisture uh, for the wood. So yeah, let's let's do that. My first, I think it's my first cut of the build, which isn't that bad considering everything we've done. But that one is bad. Uh, but this one's pretty bad, but that's okay. That happened when I worked on the shower yesterday. 
I was working on the little cuts of FRP panels that we're gonna show you just now. We're pretty much done with all the cuts of the FRP. Everything is everything is assembled, just not glued yet, uh, because we wanted to see how it would look like and the order in which we need to glue them. And there it is, our shower. Ooh. Yeah, so the large panels, obviously, we always have those awkward cuts here, like here as well. These were sort of fine, they needed a lot of adjustment. But what's even more trickier are these little pieces and angles uh, because we wanted it to look good. I mean, I think from the video it looks good. But when you come closer... And to be 100% waterproof too. It's, yeah, to be as waterproof as possible. You see, just for this, we have one, two, three, four, five angles. Five uh, small corners, pieces, whatever. And these were these um, FRP length were a bit tricky as well. Uh, but yeah, pretty much every angle and every corner is covered with, uh, I don't know how to call it, with another piece of plastic. And then on top of that, we're gonna add some sealant yeah. to be extra waterproof. Yeah, so for everybody who's watching that, you need to understand that it's a very, very tedious job because I'm go I want to show an example. So let's say you cut your FRP. You're good, it's the right size. But then you add this, and as you can see, this is adding a little of... Um, width, I a, guess? Yeah, width. Thickness. So, it means that now you need to cut that thing short. So we had first to do it right, and then by adding those to recut every edges of every pieces of FRP. So it's very tedious, but it's very important because it's waterproof and water can go everywhere. Can go? Yeah. Can go. Can go. Yeah, so I think we have done about a thousand cuts, <laughs> <laughs> including this one. And also, uh, for every places where you can see still some wood behind the FRP, and also on, on the edges and around where we're gonna put the plastic, I'm gonna apply some um, a, 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 a anti-rusting, primer. some primer yeah. that is waterproof, uh, that's gonna waterproof the, the wood. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that we now. We might actually do that in here as well, no? Yeah. I yeah. think I'm gonna do it. At least yeah, because what she was mentioning was all these, uh, all these. See, there's the plastic here, here and this one's too. not plastic. You have this one here, right here, and the work cut here, and uh, maybe also apply some on the on the sealant. Uh, sealing. Sealing. Yeah. Sorry, you apply some on the sealant. Yeah. What is that? Some. FRP adhesive glue. FRP adhesive. This is something we've never done before. We've just read the instruction behind the the, the, I, the box, the the whatever that the is. The bucket. The bucket. Thank you. And so we're gonna start small by gluing this one, which is the front of the shower tray, and we'll see how it goes. So they're just saying, uh, technically the temperature should be, I think, a little higher than what it is right now. So we'll see how it goes. But still, I think it should be okay. I'm not going to put too much at first. So, I think this is how it works. I don't know if I've put too much or not enough. Guess we'll see. And the thing that they recommend is to use this, which has small gaps that's doing this sort of shape right here. And this is what will allow the glue to stick even better to the wood. Right, let's see. 
this, I think. When designing our layout, we knew our shower wouldn't be conventional. Our shower pan is smaller, our walls are curved, so we knew we would have to find a waterproof solution that would be flexible enough to meet those needs. FRP is a great material to work with, easy to glue to wood, very flexible, and it does not need additional treatment once it's installed. It took us a few days because of the amount of cuts we had to make, but we can finally see it now. Our shower is looking good, and as you can see, we can't wait to try it out. It's time for plumbing now. In the next video, we'll start just that. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share our channel. And we'll see you on the next one.